Washington is reportedly planning to let South Korean and Taiwanese chipmakers keep their current chipmaking operations in China. Now, that means they will be able to continue to bring semiconductor-related equipment into their plants in that country past October. Our Yi seung reports. While the United States is banning the export of semiconductor production equipment to China, it's been reported that it will extend the export control moratorium applied to South Korean companies. According to a report by The Wall Street Journal on Monday, U.S. Undersecretary of Commerce for Industry and Security Alan Estevez met with officials from the Semiconductor Industry Association last week and announced that he would extend the suspension of U.S. semiconductor equipment export controls to South Korean and Taiwanese companies for the time being. If realized, the move will come after the U.S. Department of Commerce announced last October export controls that effectively prohibited U.S. companies from exporting semiconductor equipment to Chinese semiconductor manufacturers while applying a one-year moratorium on Samsung and SK Hynix, two South Korean chipmakers, which have factories in China. The report analyzed that the extension of the moratorium shows the difficulty of isolating China's high-tech industries in a highly connected world economy. It also warned that the latest decision would weaken U.S. export controls aimed at slowing China's technological progress. Concerns have been growing among U.S. lawmakers who believe that South Korean companies like Samsung and SK Hynix will replace Micron's market share in China after Beijing banned the sales of goods from the U.S. chipmaker. And with this, the Wall Street Journal reports the U.S. government is seeking to prepare separate standards for Korean companies producing semiconductors in China. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.